Konnichiwa, and welcome back to NSL. Think of this as your return ticket on the Shinkansen, aka the bullet train. I am ready. One last opportunity for you to catch what you may have missed. Grab yourself a bag of wasabi peas and an iced green tea. Mmm, wasabi. Because once you're on board, choo-choo, or as Thomas the Tank Engine once said, bust my buffer, mother. <laughs> While aboard the train, one must stay alert to avoid things getting left behind. Anything can be a nod, a clue, or a dupe. A character's shoes, t-shirt, earpiece, book, medallion, and color scheme. Now let's talk about our leading man, our everyman, our nowhere man. Ladybug, always in the wrong place at the wrong time. Dressed like any average Joe, Ladybug dons perfectly clean white kicks, which get drenched almost immediately. Perhaps this is a tip of the hat to Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. But of course, in that flick, Jordan's got ruined. And no one fucks up Jordan's. Dude. And that soft, sexy voice in Ladybug's ear? No other than Sandra Bullock, entering the ring as Maria Beetle, a character straight from the book. OK, now let's roll. Hard to make out, but the T-shirt is not just making a penis joke but signifies Brad's hometown of Springfield, Missouri before he made it in Hollywood, in case you had any other ideas what it meant. Is this like a, like a sex thing? Nope. Literary tastes can also provide fascinating insights into a character. The Prince, for example, is seen reading Shibumi, a novel about an assassin seeking revenge. Not every reader of this New York Times bestseller is an assassin, but some are. You need some suggested reading. Surviving borderline personality disorder. What? The twins, Tangerine and Lemon. Yeah, not so sure they're twins. What is it that makes them oh so lovable? Perhaps it's their taste for the finer things in life. Lemonade, lemon drops. You got a sore throat? Lemon meringue pie. When was the last time you ate a lemon meringue pie? Or because they sport their hometown football club's colours before killing 17 guys. All to the tune of the club's fight song. Let's go, West Ham! <laughs> yeah! Quite a lot of swords, actually. That's a shiny medal worn around their necks. Where the fuck is my brother? St. Christopher is not only the patron saint of travellers, but his charm is also said to protect from a watery death. Oh! Let's not forget our leading lady, the train. Hate to break it to you, but she's not actually moving. We let our lady in silver relax in style with LCD screens simulating travel. I gotta say, I like it here. I could live here. Now, not every character can be vital to the plot. Some are there for laughs, some for deaths. But any character can be a celebrity. You know him when you see him. Oh, Channing. Oh, Ryan. Even the film's director pops in for a close-up, too. They say all directors want to act, and all actors want to direct. Hey, buddy, you OK? The film's not only a fun popcorn thrill ride, it's deep. Art house deep, auteur deep, most annoying kind of film nerd deep. I'm going to tell you a story now. No, I'm good. It's short. Really, I'm fine. There's even a figurative meta metaphor for all who get top billing. This dude represents good luck. That one, bad. Her over there, karma. Him, love. Them, justice. And what about, oh yeah, revenge. And that one, revenge. And last but not least, revenge. OK, so there's a surplus of revenge. But there's also redemption, fate, wrath. You know, enough to keep the mainstream, the niche, and everyone in between talking about the choo-choo train ride of their lives for a very long time. You don't like it? You like it? I like it. If you like it, all right. Thank you for joining us on another ride on NSL. Hope you enjoyed these fun facts. There's even more if you want to jump on board for another ride. This is working. Yeah.